Hello, hello, Sharon here from Sharon's Tutorials. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you two different ways of removing a background from a picture using Microsoft PowerPoint. So the first way will be if you have a block of solid color as a background behind on your picture. And the second way is if the background is slightly more complex, more textures and colors, etc. So I really hope you find it helpful. And as a bonus at the end, I'll be sharing with you something that you might not actually realize. So make sure you stick around for that. So if you're ready, let's get started. So I'm in a blank presentation now. So all I've done is open up a blank PowerPoint presentation. The first thing we want to do is insert an image. Now there's a couple of different ways of doing this. So you could either drag and drop from a folder. So if we want this image here, drag and drop into the slide and that will automatically put it into your presentation for you. Another way of doing it is you could copy and paste. Control C and Control V to copy and paste the file. And then the third way is to go to insert on the ribbon and go to pictures and you'll have one that says um, picture from file or from your device, depending what version of PowerPoint you're using. So in this version of the Microsoft 365, you have the options of inserting a picture from this device, from stock images that are available and from online pictures. So I'm just gonna go from this device. So there are three different ways of inserting an image to begin with. So I'm just gonna go to another presentation here so I can quickly show you. So I have a couple of slides here where I've quickly downloaded a couple of images and they basically have a solid color background. So the first way of removing the background from an image if it is a solid colored background, just one solid color, then the quick way of doing that is when you click onto the image, you'll see on the ribbon here across the top, there is now a new tab called picture format. Click on picture format and you have a whole range of tools to do with the picture. So to remove the background from this particular image, we need to go across to color here and go down to where it says set transparent color. And you'll notice now the cursor has a little um, a pencil, <laughs> I think it is, um, which is basically you're choosing the color that you want to set as transparent, so which is the solid color of background. So if you just click on there, it gets rid of the background. And this image now, you can move, you can resize, you can put a different background on the back of it. So if we go to format background here, go to a different color fill, and it, it changes the whole thing. So that's one quick way of doing it. And now if we go to this slide here and you'll see an image here has got like a gray colored background and we want to remove that background completely. First select the image, go to picture format on the ribbon, go across to color, down to set transparent color, click on the color that you want to set transparent. So it's this background here and it removes the background. And again, you can format the background of the actual slide, have it as different, as, as a gradient if you want to. And you can see here, this now has got rid of the background for you. So that's the first way of removing a background from an image with a solid color background. Now onto something with, that is has a slightly complex um, kind of background. So I'll go back to this original presentation here, this blank presentation, and I want to insert an image. And we're gonna insert this image, so drag and drop. I'm just gonna set the layout to blank. So there's nothing there. So you can see here, we can't get rid of one solid color background because there's loads of different um, colors and textures and everything as a background. So what we need to do, select the image. Again, you now have picture format tab on the ribbon, click on there. And you'll see right over on the far left side, you have one called remove background. And basically PowerPoint will try to remove as much of the background as it can. So if you click on there, and it's actually done a pretty good job. Basically everything in this um, magenta color is what's being removed. And you'll see here at the top of the ribbon, you now have a different set of options. So you've got mark areas to keep, mark areas to remove, discard all changes and keep changes. If I scroll in, you can see that, um, this is the lovely Zena, my office dog, and you can see her paws are also colored in magenta, which means they're gonna be um, removed. And I don't really want that. So I need to select mock areas to keep, click on there, and you'll see the cursor is again changed to like a pencil um, icon. And you basically mark the areas you want to keep. So I want to keep all of this here. Just click and drag down here 
and you can see it's, it's now changing it. Now this might be a little bit fiddly because there's, um, there's quite a lot going on in the background so you'll see different things appear and disappear as I'm clicking. So I want to do this pour here and it's just a matter of going through and clicking. Now you can see that I've clicked on there and because the colour of the floor is, is near enough similar to the colour of her pore, PowerPoint has decided, yeah, you want to keep that as well. So now we need to go to mark areas to remove and just select these areas just here and you can see it's removed those ones but it's also now removed this. It's, it's a little bit tedious um, depending on the actual background and the image and everything. But it's doing a pretty good job, to be honest. Um, let me just get rid of this one here. Yeah, that's actually not too bad. Um, there's a little bit here that we want to remove in between her fur. Um, that's actually quite a good job for PowerPoint, to be honest. Oh, there's a little bit of her paw here. You can see here, so we'll put mock areas to keep and we'll there. Scroll back up again. I'll just zoom back out. Um, so once you're happy with everything that's been selected, you then, you can either discard the changes or you can keep them. So if we just keep them and you can see there, she's there. Uh, she now has no background, which is really good. Um, and you can format the slide again. Let's set it to an orange. So yeah, there she is with no background just a real handy tool. If at any time you want to go back into the image and make any changes to it, just select the image, go back to picture format, click on remove background again. If you now decide you want to keep any areas of the background that you've already removed, you just go back into it and just mark areas to keep and do the same again. And then just keep changes or discard all changes. So there you have two ways of removing a background from an image using PowerPoint. Now I mentioned earlier a bonus tip for you and you might not realize this, but this is exactly, you can do exactly the same thing in Microsoft Excel and in Microsoft um, Word. You could probably do it in Outlook as well. I haven't really tried it with Outlook, but you could probably do the same thing again. And there you have two very simple ways of removing a background image. I hope you found it helpful. Thanks for watching. Don't forget watching, watching, and, and uh, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Until next time.